Amazon's answer to refurbishing your golf clubs. But does it work? I don't believe it. In the nature of our game, we are going to scratch our golf clubs. We're gonna leave blemishes on the faces. And let's be honest, we all want our clubs looking as they were when we first got them, whether it's a decent set of secondhand clubs or a brand new set that you got custom fitted for. Today, I am testing Amazon's answer. Metal club cleaner. Cleans, polish, protects, turns clubs that look like this into clubs that look like this. And we're gonna answer today, is that actually true? There's no manual, there's no instructions. Essentially, put it on, wipe it with the abrasive solution, odorless, and then wipe off. And your clubs should see a remarkable improvement. I have got an array of different clubs, woods, rescues, irons, putters. Let's see how good this 12 99 product really is i want to make this as simple as possible that's why i'm on the golf course out here with a microfiber towel and the metal golf club cleaner as not all of us has work benches not all of us have grinders buffering wheels you name it and also we don't want to take anything away from the golf club itself we just want to make it aesthetically look better i've taped up the driver face so we can get a nice little comparison of before and after ping g5 ladies driver let's see what difference it makes okay first quick layer done i did put quite a bit on and you can see essentially quite a bit of the dirt that's already come off the face these are all these golf clubs have been cleaned with me at home tap water quick little scour with the multi-cleaner brush but you can see quite a bit of the grime that's already come off the face or potentially that's the metal that i've just indeed taken off the face as well that's round one i'm going to do two other rounds and then obviously take off the tape and we can see exactly the difference between the two sides okay final round with the first club done i feel like you can see a slight difference between the right side and the left side but notice the big scratches they haven't come out the big dinks and again to go that deep you are going to have to take some of the face off so this is definitely more of a polishing technique and a few of the clubs that i have in the bag i'm hoping this is going to basically get rid of those kind of scratches or the soft scratches that you might have on the club face all right here we go here goes nothing the difference between face on the left and face on the right give it a quick little wipe to get rid of the excess residue okay there is definitely a line between the pair you can see visibly on the right hand side potentially to the left hand side but as you can see pretty much the big dinks the big scratches and this is probably as worse as it can come in terms of condition of a face you're not getting those out i do just feel though maybe on the right side it's just done a really good job of cleaning it. Now I have to say, if it gets rid of that ball mark on the toe there, which I see many a times when I've bought golf clubs, and it's the most annoying mark when it comes to iron sets, you've essentially hit the ground, hit the ball, but the dirt's got in between, and now you've scuffed the chrome on the toe of your iron. If this stuff can get rid of that, then I'm one. It's worth the £12.99. There's no question. If someone told me you could fix that for £12.99 and all you need is a bit of taste and a cloth, I am sold. Question is, will it? Right, round one complete. I mean, it's definitely shinier, isn't it? I mean, we've definitely got a nice little gloss effect. The mark is still there, though. I'm going to have to compare it to the video now, I think about it, if it has made a difference. But I can see it. I don't want to see it. Let's see if we can do another couple of rounds. Can we get rid completely of that mark? I don't believe it. It's virtually gone. How have I not figured this out till now? I mean, there is still a faint line. You can almost see it. Hang on. If I get the right camera angle, you can potentially see a tiny bit of a ball mark. But my hand started to get cramped. And I'm sure there's loads of different ways you could do this better. Please leave some comments down below if you have an ultimate trick. I imagine pink stuff probably would do the same. Which is what I use to pretty much clean every surface in the house that's dirty and grimy. But that for me right there is a win. Yes, there is that faint outline, but I'm pretty sure if I go at it a tiny bit more, that would pretty much vanish. But if I was to stand at this club at address now, I wouldn't see that ball mark in the toe, which, let's be honest, would be very much off-putting for quite a lot of us. 
Now, this next one's an interesting one because so many faces nowadays have this kind of matte finish on them that does get scuffed very easily, as you can see. And I can't imagine this is going to do much because, if anything, it's just kind of make it less matty. But you can see there's a lot of marks, a lot of blemishes over the face here. And this has been cleaned with as much as I'd normally use, water, magic sponge, scour, you name it. Can this do any more? This is a demo club. I don't really care what happens to it. But for you guys that have newer irons, I want to do a bit of an experiment for you guys to see if it does anything worthwhile. And in a short answer, no. If anything, it's buffered up the nicks in the corner here. So they're actually a tiny bit more apparent, which makes sense. So sadly, matte drivers, matte faces, anything that obviously isn't chrome or you want to make shinier, this isn't going to make the slightest bit of difference. Potentially it's cleaned it better, but again, there's many things that obviously you can clean this face apart from polishing it. Okay, up next, I have a nice little Ram Wizard 600 putter. With quite a bit of rust on the face, nicks, dents, and again, uh, this would have looked absolute beauty when it first came out. So I've taped it up and I want to see what can this get rid of. Can it get your old faithful, your old putter, looking like it's got a bit more life left in it? Bearing in mind, it does say this does protect it, which kind of makes sense and potentially reduce the effect of getting a bit of rust on the face in the future. So we've just done a quick little one rounder on it. And to be perfectly honest, the bit that I did like, yes, it removes the rust, but you kind of do that with anything. A uh, metal brush on your irons or a magic sponge, tin foil i've seen people use for example as well to get rid of rust you can get rid of it but the thing i do kind of like is that it potentially is giving you that element of protection because this is more a wax base whether that's true or not don't hold me to it let's take the tape off and see the difference nice little dink there's very much in sight now because everything else is cleaned up and again you can see the line compared to the scratches on the side there and i wanted to make this a bit lazy i.e me with a cloth out on the golf course because this could obviously be done better with other tools and hardware grinders you name it buffering wheels especially quickly i've just seen another one these black marks on the bottom here and i've seen this on quite a lot of clubs in the past and i can't remember what they're from to be honest i think these are from normal mats um at the driving range that gives these kind of black marks whether it's tees or other bits that obviously you're hitting but again i've tried cleaning this with conventional methods i'll be very interesting in real time if we can get rid of them just with this and if we can then again that is a bit of a win because it's slightly abrasive oh that is actually coming off I'd actually be interested to see how shiny this head um actually comes up this is a real time i won't do a time lapse for this one as you can see those marks are definitely going even cleaning the speed slot whilst we're at it and it's interesting for me someone that cleans a lot of golf clubs when i'm buying and selling having another product that potentially gets the clubs looking a tiny bit better than what they would be when i'm giving them Again, this is all useful information. If I can help you guys in cleaning your clubs or potentially making your clubs look a tiny bit newer, then I think that's all worthwhile. Ah, look, completely gone. And if anything, actually, I mean, I might be blowing smoke up my own, but it actually looks clean all together, doesn't it? Okay, last one. Now, obviously this isn't metal. This is more of the carbon face section. This is an old tailor-made rescue mid so i'm not particularly too worried and this here we're not getting rid of sadly but a lot of you might notice this kind of like scuff pattern on the top here and originally when i've tried cleaning it in the past i've just thought it's dirt but it doesn't come off no matter how much you scrub so i'll be interested now if we can get rid of whatever is on the top there and make that a tiny bit shinier i'm going to give it one more go but i mean that is not too bad at all that's got that's definitely put a bit of a sheen back into the head of that let me see if i can get rid of whatever is down here on the left hand side i wouldn't recommend doing this with your brand new tailor-made stealth or rogue st max but something that you got for 10 pounds down the car boot all right let's give it a bit more now we didn't quite get rid of all of it but just to give you a comparison of what that used to look like that's how the dull finish was on this tailor-made rescue there very similar okay obviously it's had a few more scars top of it now not too bad if you like this cheap polished refurb 12.99 video from amazon here's another amazon video that you might want to check out golf grips 
for an extremely cheap, affordable amount of money, which I fitted out on the golf course here.